Welcome back to Dana Does Things. This week I'll show you how to make needle felted lemon earrings, a good project for the ambitious needle felt beginner. What you'll need is about two handfuls of yellow wool and one handful of green wool, a felting needle, a multi-needle tool will help things go faster but a single needle will work just fine, a felting surface, a thimble, and of course earring hangers of your choice. We will start with our yellow wool. When I'm making earrings, I like to have the wool for both earrings prepped so I know they'll be about the same size. Since wool is quite fluffy, I like to squeeze it between my hands to see if they're about the same amount of wool. Now take the first pile and start the process by rolling the wool between your hands. This will just save you some time in the long run. It is time to start felting. When you're needle felting, it's important to keep the 3D shape that you're aiming for in your head. In this case, we are aiming for an elongated circular shape, so you'll want to keep moving your piece around to keep it circular. If you felt too much on one side, it'll get smushed and flattened. At the beginning stages, it's easier to reshape, but once we get going, it'll be more difficult. If you find it hard to not keep felting in one spot, you can always count your stabs in your head and make sure to turn every 10 to 15 stabs. Keep on felting until you have a vaguely egg-shaped shape. When you're working on your second one, compare the size to the first to keep them semi-even. When you get near the end and your wool is well felted and your shape feels fairly dense, you can also roll it between your hands to get more of that egg shape and to help mat down some of those stray wools. To add extra lemonness, we'll add that little bump thing that lemons have on the end of them by grabbing just a tiny bit more wool and felting it to the end. If you've been using a multi-needle up until now, it'll be easier to switch to a single needle for this. Now we'll start with our accent leaf using the green wool. You only need a small amount, and again we'll start by this time rubbing it between our palms so we start with a little flattened shape instead of a round one. Once you lay it down on your felting surface, you can use your needle to pick up the wool near the edges and fold it towards the center to mold it into more of a leaf shape. With a shape so thin and small, it's important to flip it often and felt only near the surface and not to push your needle too deep into your felting surface or else your leaf will get stuck on the surface. The surface is just to prop up your wool and your needle really shouldn't be penetrating it too much. Continue felting the leaf until it is tight and not fuzzy, finishing it again between your hands. The last piece we need is the stem, and it can be started by rolling the wool into a snake-like shape between your hands. This will take some delicate felting, and it's important to use your thimble at this point, and of course to keep rotating the piece to maintain its round shape. Assembly is next and we will start by attaching the stem to the leaf, making sure to felt from both sides.
Then we will line up the stem with the top of our lemon on the opposite side that we put our bump, using a single needle to really make sure the stem is attached to the lemon. Once that is complete, the last step is to attach the earring holder, which will vary depending on what sundry you chose. For me, I'll use one of my needles to poke a hole through the stem and then thread the earring hanger through. Now you have adorable lemon earrings and your Miss Frizzle style collection can grow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you'd like to see more every week, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.